Hey guys, Gassy here with a new Path of Exile video. I wanted to shed some light to new players by listing some common mistakes and some workarounds to help avoid making these mistakes yourself. Now before we go into the video, I'd like to make a disclaimer saying that Path of Exile is an extremely complex ARPG with a steep learning curve. Now having a helping hand, especially when you first come into the game, is extremely helpful, which is why you can either ask questions in my YouTube videos, pop by my Twitch channel, or simply join our Discord community in which we talk about anything Path of Exile or other games related. Now links to these things and all the websites mentioned in this video is going to be listed in the descriptions below. So let's start off with the first mistake. Now following a beginner friendly build guide. This is the big one, but also slightly controversial as some people believe you should be YOLOing the game and learn from that with your first character. Others though, like myself, would rather suggest that a new player finds a beginner friendly build guide to have a stable character to learn the game with. Now the problem with this is obviously finding a guide that not only fits the bill of being a beginner friendly one, but also caters to your personal playstyle and interests. Now the Path of Excel forums has tons of guides and so does YouTube, a link to the build guides that I have is listed in the descriptions below and my suggestions would be to decide what type of build you'd like to play such as Trap, Summoner, Totem, Spellcaster or Melee and then decide what type of ability you'd like to use and once you've decided on that you can then begin to search for a build guide of your choice. Now before we continue, I'd like to take the opportunity to thank all my Patreon supporters for making what I do possible. Thank you so much for the tremendous display of support you guys provide. And also, don't forget to hit that subscribe button for more content like this and more. Next up, we have Loot Filter. Now this is a bit of an uncommon thing for an ARPG as many other ARPGs has built-in loot filters. Path of Exile offers the capabilities of designing your own loot filter and we have an amazing community member called Neversync who has the website to, to help one to do this. And there are basic templates new players can use and these can be found at filterblade.xyz and this is linked in the description as usual. And the loot filter will be somewhat uh, help you navigate through tons of loot to only see items generally worth looting as well as playing a sound when they drop. And for higher valued items even have a notification on the minimap. So this is a tool that should not be dismissed as a new player in Path of Exile. Many of us veterans have played the game before Loot Filter was a thing and it could be completely atrocious trying to find good loot and you actually have to look everywhere where you killed something. Loot Filter will make the game much smoother for you and you will also avoid making the mistake of missing a loot that you might have dropped off screen. And speaking of loot, this brings us to the third one which is defensive gearing. Now, Path of Exile can be very unforgiving, even if you follow a build guide, because most guides focus on endgame and not very detailed on the part where you're playing through the, uh, the 10 acts of the core game. Now, life is the main source of defense for most builds as you level through the acts and should be prioritized to some degree on items that you pick up and use. However, once you're around Act 5 towards Act 6, Capping your elemental resistances becomes your absolute priority. This means reaching 75% fire, cold and lightning resistances. Now having slightly below this is perfectly fine, but to strive towards the cap as in, in more cases than not better for your survivability than life itself as it will mitigate a lot of those elemental damage. Now this is important for the rest of the game from here on and should never be ignored due to its massive mitigating value. Now, well-written build guides cover this, but I've seen too many new players having trouble surviving in the early act stages, and this is one of the main culprits causing this issue. So once you hit Act 5, expect yourself to be uh, sorting your elemental resistances towards 65, 70% plus, preferably 75% on all three. Speaking of capping yourself on resistances, the fourth mistake here that we're going to talk about in this video is actually understanding value of items. We're going to talk about trading. Now, trading in Path of Exile can be cruel, gruesome, and completely infuriating. Now, common mistakes from a new player is to simply not understand the value of items they want to sell or to purchase. Now, I have made a price check guide, which is linked in the description below, to help you understand how you can check values of items yourself. Now the generic tools used for both trading as well as checking values is the website poe.trade or the Path of Exile's main one which is pathofexile.com slash trade. It's very easy to be scanned when you're a new player having no clue of the value of both currency and items. 
Now, having a community to seek guidance from in the form of a Discord or a gilding game is absolutely recommended to help you get a better experience in Path of Exile. But the number one key to solving this issue is to simply learn how to utilize the trade system through either PUE.trade or the Path of slash trades website so that you can price check items you either want to purchase or that you're selling so that you actually get the maximum value out of items you want to sell and you can purchase items out of a decent price for your own wallet. The last point I'd like to talk about is to continue the topic on external tools and how valuable they can be in terms of helping you learn the game. Now, first off, we have the Path of Exile Wikipedia, where you can find information about pretty much anything in the game, such as attribute requirements, stats of your skill gems, quest information, unique items, you know, you name it. Another great website to utilize is a community-made one, and it's called poelab.com, which houses tons of guides for both League mechanics in both written and video forms, as well as housing the Labyrinth nodes, which resets once every day, where they have crew members literally running the in-game Labyrinth to show you which direction you should take to reach the end of the Labyrinth the fastest and smoothest. For a free-to-use website, that is absolutely incredible. Now, other tools are, as mentioned a few times in the video already, such as having a communities to go to, such as in-game guilds, helpful Discord community, a YouTube channel, and Twitch stream that are always answering your question. Now, I personally always say that if you have questions, you should always ask. There are no stupid questions, only stupid answers, especially when you come to an in-depth, steep learning curve game like Path of Exile. And that's it for this video. I hope you enjoyed it and uh, can now avoid making these mistakes at least. If you've encountered or seen other common mistakes that you think that I've missed, uh, please let us know in the comments below so we can make sure we don't miss those out entirely. And don't forget to hit that subscribe button and like button for more content like this. Until next time, Exiles, stay safe and keep rocking. <laughs>